97.5 Y Country. Good morning. It's Mark DeRocher getting you up and on your way. Thanks for tuning in this morning. We have got an amazing day today. Luke Bryan tickets. Easton Corbin goes on sale Thursday. And my baby is two today. Leah Grace. We may be hearing from her. Her radio debut may happen at any time. So stay tuned for that. Right now, though, it is time for us to get caught up and put a little money in that mason jar. Daddy's money. And I got a little, little, little money. Right on. Money in the bank. It's Mason Jar Monday, brought to you by Honor Credit Union. It's your money. And 20 in a row country. 97.5. Black country. That is what I want. How do I save it? How do I spend it? How do I invest it? And that's why on Mondays we talk about the Mason Jar Monday with Honor Credit Union. And uh, Kaylee Williams in the studio Hello. with us. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Uh, excellent today. Uh, I th- you heard me bragging. Yes. My baby is uh, two today. And uh, gosh, I'm just grateful. She's actually probably walking with her mom right now and in the Grace Gym. So, Very nice. Yeah. That's a, that's a good way to start a birthday. I think I so, think. too. <laughs> I think so, too. All right. So let's talk about this. You know, uh, Mason Jar Monday's talk basically is about preparing you for using your money wisely, mm-hmm. saving it, how you spend it. This is great, though, investing in our community. Yeah. So switching it up a little bit, kind of, you know, along the lines of if you there are some things you got to spend money on. Exactly. Right? There, there are some things where you're, you're going to spend it. So how can you invest your dollars into your community um, the, the smartest? Um, and the, the first one is spend deliberately. Um, so I, I am a couponer. I will admit um, I love a good deal. Um, but sometimes that internet deal, number one, when it actually arrives at your door, it is not exactly like the picture that it looked like online. Whoops. And number two, um, where does that money even go? So this one is all about shopping locally and independently, um, even down to your coffee. So buying coffee at, at the, the mom and pop owned little bakery. Um, it's probably really delicious, oh, first yeah. off. <laughs> but, you know, you can feel good about where that couple box is going. And, you know, the same with with any item. You know, there's a lot of shops downtown even that have very unique things. So, you know, maybe you're looking for a gift for a friend's birthday or for your two-year-old's birthday. Oh, um, yeah. And you can find something, you know, maybe a little bit unique at one of those more locally owned and feel good about where the money is going. So... That's fun to live, really. Um, the second one, second tip to invest your dollars towards your community is donate. Um, this is kind of like near and dear to me. Um, I think I'm, I guess we're, we're challenging the community to if, um, if you have those couple extra bucks at the end of the month, um, what could you spend it on? You know, maybe, maybe it, when it comes down to it, there's some nonprofit organizations, animal shelters, food banks, et cetera, that could use that couple dollars even more than you could. So just And that's kind of, really that's yeah. really one of those things that you know, you know, well you just talked about coffee, but I mean what are those uh, kind of uh, non essentials that you could donate for? Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Give up, you know, one coffee a week and then, you know, that could add up to a donation just every month or, or however your family deems fit. Um, to a local, you know, agency that in turn reinvests that directly into your community. So just another one of those ways that if you have a, a couple extra bucks, you know, how could you spend it um, the smartest and then feel good about it? Right. So, and the third one, join a credit union. <laughs> now that sounds a little self-serving, but yeah, here's but, why. <laughs> yeah, but... Go ahead. Yeah, so we're here for you. So so you want to invest your dollars wisely. Well, credit unions are community focused. Um, so in on top of offering, you know, the financial products and services that you need, um, they can help you save money, but then they also, you know, at least I can speak for Honor Credit Union, supporting the communities we serve is important. So you can feel confident knowing that you're doing business with an organization that is supporting the community you live in, and that's kind of the credit union philosophy. So, excellent. I want to say one more thing because we're members of mm-hmm. credit unions, 
um, we really kind of do direct where that money goes because we yeah. support the credit it's union. It's your right? money. Absolutely. It is your money. So I love that. All right. So no matter what you choose to do with your money, it's never a bad decision when you invest in the community. We all agree mm -hmm. with that. Um, and then, of course, it's easy to follow along when there is a, a hot topic or there's someone that needs help. Yeah. Right? They can Absolutely. tweet you. Yes. At HonorCU using hashtag AskHonorCU. Um, and I'd love to hear ways that you invest your dollars into the community. So if you have other ways that, that um, you'd like to share with, with the rest of us that you do that or a topic you want to hear about next week, get a hold of us. All right. Very good. Kaylee Williams, she's the PR manager and uh, just a regular great gal. Oh, Appreciate thanks. you very much. <laughs> thanks for being in with uh, Scott next week. We'll talk more about Mason Jar Monday. Yes. Thank you. All right. Here on 97.5 Y Country. I love country.